Here we go again with a new video from the Red Python channel. Today we're gonna discuss different authentication methods used by IIS server. Here we have a Windows Server 2012 R2. Uh, it's acting as an Active Directory domain controller and I have installed as well IIS as a role. By default when you install IIS without ticking the security options it comes with these uh, two authentication uh, methods anonymous and ASP.NET impersonation you need to add a couple of features in order to enable the basic authentication and Windows authentication so you go here to add roles select next next then you tick the IIS server you expand it and then you expand the web server again you expand the security list here and then you tick basic authentication and windows authentication after you do that automatically they will be populated here you just need a simple restart and there you go now i have installed a default uh, website here it's a template this is the ip address of the server let me refresh it and here we go there are no authentication nothing just the uh, the page pops up now if we need to add authentication to this page you select the website you go to the features view of authentication you just disable the anonymous authentication and you enable the basic authentication the basic authentication authenticates against the database with a set of username and passwords in this case it's the uh, local database of this uh, server here and you go again here let's uh, open uh, incognito mode let's try accessing this website now it will ask us to provide it with a username and password so here I'm authenticating with the local database which this is uh, the administrator and the password are local and not part of the active directory I will be able to successfully authenticate here even if I'm using the Active Directory credentials because uh, uh, the web server has Active Directory as well uh, it will it will authenticate me now let's try the Windows authentication you just disable that here and enable Windows authentication so Windows authentication will let you authenticate using network credentials so you'll be able to authenticate outside the database provided by the server here uh, let's try to do a refresh again and here you go one major difference between the two authentications is that the basic authentication credentials are sent in clear text while the integrated window authentication are sent encrypted